Hey guys, I'm Brent Rose, writer and writer of Sharks. <laughs> Summer is here, and yeah, you could do all the typical things like barbecue, water ski, or you could ride a jet-powered dolphin that's shaped like a supercar. Today, I'm going to attempt to ride two of the craziest watercrafts out there. The Sea Breacher. It's just like a roller coaster. It's designed to scare you silly. And the Jet Evader. This thing will blow your mind. You can fly this thing 50 feet high, dive it. 30 feet deep. So I'm gonna die. There's a good chance you're gonna die. Great good chance. So the first thing we're trying out is the Sea Breacher. The Sea Breacher comes in all sorts of flavors. There's dolphins, there's killer whales, there's all kinds of sharks, there's even a manatee for some reason. So they're all custom built. Uh, most of the boats we build, we designed to look like marine creatures. This is Rob Innes, the madman who builds these things. How did you get into this? I'm from New Zealand originally, uh, the country known for sort of backyard engineering. It started as sort of just as a hobby. This is the very first Sea Breacher we built. I started this in 1999. We've come a long way. I mean, that thing was a death trap. This thing is kind of ridiculous. It's sort of a hybrid submarine boat jet ski. It can go under the surface of the water. It can jump. It can barrel roll. It can go up to 60 miles an hour. It weighs about uh, 1,400 pounds. You can do all kinds of really dangerous looking stuff that I'm really excited to try. What's the biggest challenge you think when people try something like this for the first time? Um, if they're not like trained pilots, they just have to think in three axes. Like a jet ski, you just turn left and right. This, you have to separate your, your pitch roll and your, and you have to think in a three dimensional environment. What could possibly go wrong? And so you're going to close the canopy. Okay. Up and over. Yeah. Latch both sides. And then your pedals left and right. You push the right pedal, it's going to turn you right. Push your left pedal, that's going to turn you left. Point your toes forward, the nose is going to go down. If you point your toes back, the nose is going to go up. Because there's only one air intake off the snorkel for the cabin and the engine, when you really give it some gas, your ears are going to pop a little bit. There's a little bit of a vacuum, and you really, really feel that a lot when you dive down and you're gassing it. The first time you go underwater, you kind of feel a sense of panic because it doesn't look right. You feel like you're driving a car and cars are not meant to be submerged in the water. Okay, now we're going to talk about roll. So your left control stick controls the left wing, your right control stick controls the right wing. Okay, so in theory, if you push this one forward and this one back, you are going to roll to the left. If you do the opposite, you're going to roll to the right. This is way more high adrenaline than my last driver's ed experience. Last driver's ed experience, I had a creepy guy next to me who would always poke my leg, and now I've got a creepy guy behind me who just taps my shoulder. Oh yeah. The first big trick is learning how to dive and then jump. To do that, you wanna be going about five to seven miles an hour. You're gonna pull back on your toes a little bit and then slam them forward, and that breaks the surface tension, gets your nose under the water, and as soon as your nose is down, you gas the hell out of it. If you're in the middle of a dive and you get scared, you're going to want to pull back. Don't do that because then you're going to stall out and you're just going to come out ass first. As soon as you're underneath the water, you want to go toes back up and you breach through and generally slam down pretty hard if you do it right. The newest model is the supercar, which we're trying out today. They put a ton of R&D into it to reshape the nose cone and everything and really, really trick it out to make it look like a certain supercar whose name we dare not mention. So the supercar is based off Sea Breacher's Model Z, which has a retractable snorkel. That means it can barrel roll, and that was definitely my most ambitious trick in it. To barrel roll, you have to get up to about 20, 25 miles an hour, which feels pretty fast, and then you just jam both hand levers in opposite directions. That'll dig one fin in and lift the other one, and you just spin. Riding in the Sea Breacher is absolutely thrilling. It feels like you're going Mach 1. And when you dive in and the water's streaming off the windshield, it looks like you're going to ludicrous speed in your Winnebago. I would say these are for the water sports enthusiasts who are kind of over their jet skis. They start at the low, low price of $80,000. Now, that's a very expensive toy for most people. Luckily, you can certainly do rental times and cruise around a lake or even in the ocean. It's a very expensive business to get into. I mean, that's what people don't. People think, why are these so expensive? And it's just, they don't understand just the sheer number of 
hours that goes into building each and every one of these. This is for people that want something completely different. Next you did good though. Thank you, didn't, you. You didn't destroy my boat, so I appreciate that. Yeah. Cool. Well, let's yeah. try the generator. Let's do it. What this is, is a water propelled flying bike. You hook it up to your existing jet ski and it, it reroutes the water coming out of the jet pump up a fire hose and then you can manipulate the angle of these jets to fly up in the sky, do spins, backflips, rolls, dives. Yeah, I'm uh, slightly nervous, but uh, here goes. Uh, getting up and riding is a somewhat tricky balancing act. So to start off, you really need to push those levers way, way forward. So you slowly take off at an incline and then you want to just more like lean back. The impulse is always to pull back and then you'll rear up and back flop. Before you get the hang of it, you will be crashing over and over and over and over again. So once you're up and riding, you're really just trying to master going forward and steering while not going over the back. To turn, you can either lean, kind of like you're on a bike, or you can start using the thrusters a little bit. If you push forward on one, you'll start turning more in that direction. If you push forward in the other, you'll start turning more in that direction. Now, the first trick that I tried to learn was the spiral. And basically, that's you want to go straight up and spin 360 degrees. And it was way, way harder than it looks. Essentially, you have to start going straight up and rear back to the point where you feel like you're about to go over backwards and you're almost hugging the thing to your chest. And then you crank the levers in opposite directions, kind of like doing a barrel roll in the sea breacher. Basically, you do a quick spin and then you try to recover. So from there, I actually did some porpoising, which is where you dive into the water and break the surface and dive into the water and break the surface. And that was super, super fun and not nearly as difficult as I thought it was gonna be. I kind of expected a way bigger impact in the water and you can really streamline your body so it's not so bad. My last trick and the thing I'm probably proudest of today was a barrel roll. It took a few tries and you actually do it from a sitting position. You have to go up a lot higher than you think you do, which is scary because when you fall, you know you're falling from higher. But when I was able to turn it around and catch myself before I hit the water, it felt like a massive, massive win before crashing again. I was really, really glad I had that helmet on because it uh, shook me up a little bit, but overall the thing's amazing. The basic Jetivator kit costs about nine grand, which is a lot cheaper than Sea Breacher, but it isn't exactly cheap, especially when you consider you need your own personal watercraft too. That said, there are more and more places where you can rent these, get lessons, and try them out for yourself. So what did we learn here today? Well, when you Dr. Moreau together a boat, a submarine, and a jet ski, or a bike and a fire hose, you end up with something pretty damn awesome. This isn't your grandpa's motorboat. Oh, there's an image. These are setting the stage for the weird, wild future of water sports, and I'm here for it. But what do you think? Is this something you'd want to do yourself? Let us know in the comments below. Subscribe to Wired if you haven't already. With all that being said, there's really only one thing left to do. Dim, 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 dim,